Yo, what's good everybody and welcome to a brand new Elden Ring video where today we're going to be going over all of the best rune farming methods and exploits that you can do right now and get millions upon millions of runes. These methods can be done as a new player, someone who's been playing for a while, returning players and even veterans can also do these methods to get a ton of runes incredibly easily. Now as always before I dive deeper into this video and I show you all of these awesome methods a quick word from today's video sponsor. If you guys want to purchase some in-game items for Eldering, check out Messi modding, links down below. Right, so first things first, when you start farming rooms, you gotta know that there are two items that I highly, highly recommend you obtain. And those two items being the Golden Pickled Foot, which basically allows you to get a boost, a temporary boost on obtaining rooms, and it is really helpful. And a permanent boost from an item, which is called the Golden Scarab. Now, if you don't have these items, you don't know how to obtain them, the Golden Scarab, I'm going to link a full guide down in the description, which will show you on how you can get it. And the Golden Pickled Foot, you can craft these, buy these, and find these, and you can pop them when you're about to farm some runes. Now, with these two items, you're always going to be able to obtain additional runes, and it'll basically boost the overall amount of runes that you're going to get from any farm so starting this off the first method can actually be done very early on in the game we're talking about literally at the start of the game you're going to go ahead and open up your map and then you're going to travel to lens rise once you guys are at this rest point you are then going to proceed to actually jump on your mount and you're going to go ahead and just run down this hill now this is an og farm method it was done when the game first came out it was never patched fortunately because it is really helpful but now as you guys get to the bottom there's going to be a massive boulder that is going to spawn it is going to try to crush you but all you have to do is literally just dash forward on your mount and a rock is going to fall off the cliff giving you anywhere between 1400 runes upwards of 12,000 runes depending on which new game plus you are on but because this is an early game farm i presume most players which are going to be doing this are going to be quite low in level anywhere between zero to 30 so you're probably going to get anywhere mostly between about 1400 runes but because i'm on like new game plus seven that's why i get 11k every single run but to farm this you are simply just going to open up your map and then teleport back to lens rise and then keep running back down the hill avoiding the boulder teleporting back to lens rise and then of course just rinsing and repeating this method for as long as you want now moving on to the next farm we're going to go ahead and actually travel to what i call the secret snow area if you don't have this part of the map unlocked I'm also going to link a video down in the description which will show you on how to get it unlocked but you're going to travel to this dungeon in this area right over here you guys are going to have to take the lift down but if you already have this place discovered just simply teleport here activate the lift wait for the actual lift to come down if it's not already down jump on it go all the way to the top now once you guys get to the top you're going to do one crucial step to actually speed up this farm and that is send the elevator back down so just simply wait for the button to bounce back up click it and then run out the cave then proceed to jump on your mount and you're going to see a pile of rocks in front of you jump on these rocks just like i do and then proceed to do a single jump after about half a second proceed to follow that up with a double jump constantly swing your weapon for about 60 seconds it will technically anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds that's how long it takes for the runes to appear because now we're actually despawning all the enemies and the map itself so they're all going to die and you're going to see a bunch of runes pop up in the bottom right corner of your screen now just like the previous method this does depend on whichever new game plus you are on of course the higher new game plus the more runes you are going to obtain and the lower the new game plus or for example your first playthrough the less runes you're going to get but also keep in mind you should have the golden pickled foot and the golden scarab equipped at all of these farms but now after receiving your runes just like me you're going to open up your map teleport back to the mine jump back on the elevator because it should be down because you click the button go back up and then of course rinse and repeat this until you guys are satisfied with however many runes you wanted to obtain now moving on to one of the best locations to farm this does have a little bit of setting up to do but it's nothing major so to get to the underworld where the farms are going to be taking place again the best farms you're going to open up your main map and you're going to travel to the rose church area now there isn't a rest point there so you're going to have to manually run there once you guys get to this rest point there's going to be an npc by the name of white mask just standing at the entrance to the church go up to him speak to him and he's gonna give you three pvp based missions 
Go ahead and complete the missions, they shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes to finish. Upon finishing them, return to White Mask, give him the quest, and he's going to give you a reward. That is going to be a medallion, where if you go into your inventory, you click on the medallion, it is going to teleport you to the location where I previously showed you, being, of course, the Underworld. Now, once you are in this area or this part of the map, you're firstly going to travel to this rest point right over here, once at this rest point, go ahead and jump off this little cliff here. Once at the bottom, summon your mount and then follow the exact same pathway I take. I'm going to show you one of the most broken rune exploits in this game actually. So once you guys make it to like this cliff side, start climbing it just like you see me do. Once you get to sort of like the top here, just run forward and go in the same direction as I do. You're going to go past like this little hole in these rocks. Now go ahead and jump in there land on this platform inside of this hole and then aim yourself outwards just like i do then do a single jump into the hole follow that up with a double jump and then constantly swing your weapon now this is like the previous method where after about 50 to 60 seconds you can get anywhere between 150,000 runes all the way upwards of 1.2 million runes every single time so this is definitely a really broken rune exploit there is no fighting involved and just like the first method after the runes have appeared in the bottom part of your screen open up your map and then teleport back to the rest point where we started this off from where from here onwards you're going to literally go ahead and then rinse and repeat this method for as long as you want just like all of the other methods but now moving on to sort of like a really overpowered legit farm you're once again going to open up your map and this time around you're going to travel to sort of like the uphill part of the red area just over here to this rest point once at the rest point there are going to be two things you're going to need the first one is actually going to be a bow and it could be any type of bow this farm could also be done in the early stages of the game because it's really not difficult to get to the spot and you can use any bow and the second requirement for the second farm is going to be a little bit more requiring and that is because you're going to need the end game sword which is obtained by defeating the final boss in the game so again this is sort of like an end game farm but it will give you millions upon millions of runes so this is the specific sword you're going to have to obtain to do the farm but starting this off we're going to actually show you the sword the base farm with this weapon of course so you're going to go ahead and then run out of this rest point and you're going to see a crowd of enemies you're going to go ahead and use the special ability on this sword and it will kill all of them incredibly quickly now in this specific location the amount of runes you get will vary but we're talking about like 100k within five seconds and that is based on you of course having the end game weapon and of course being a couple of playthroughs into the game but you are literally just going to go ahead kill all of them run back to the rest point rest and then rinse and repeat this this is the method that i personally used to obtain millions of runes because it literally gives you that you're going to be gaining the maximum amount of runes within the fastest period of time because you know five seconds there is no method out there which is faster than this one but it definitely is a one that can be done too early on in the game and then because of the requirements it is kind of annoying to do but now the other one with the bow like i said it can be done at any stages basically because all you need is a bow and access to this area you're going to go ahead and put out your bow you're going to walk up to the edge here and there's going to be an enemy like massive crow walking around you simply are going to aim at him shoot him and it's going to trigger him to actually run at you but because he's a floor below you he's going to fall and die and give you runes now depending on whichever playthrough you're on like i said you can get anywhere between 20 to 60 thousand runes me being on new game plus seven around that i think i get around 40 plus thousand runes if you do this at nightfall you are going to get that chance of getting the extra runes so you can sometimes get 60k but of course you're going to be doing Doing this on your own playthrough so it will vary quite drastically to be fair because it is kind of a bizarre form but past that you are just going to be running back to the rest point resetting the bird and then constantly shooting him because you know that's simply the easiest one also because it's just super straightforward and there is basically technically no fighting involved because all you're doing is just annoying a bird and having him you know fall to his death but pretty much it these are the best methods that will allow you to of course level up incredibly quickly get these new game pluses on under your belt and you're even able to actually use the sword method down here to obtain 100 plus million runes if you put the time into it because it will Take a while, but it is doable, so give it a shot. Get to max level or whichever level you want to get to. But if you guys have any questions, be sure to comment down below, and I'll do my best to try to answer all of them and help you in any way I can. But overall, have a phenomenal day, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace out.